Hi guys, Archie here. So for this video, we'll be teaching you guys how should you sell your equipment and how do you filter out your equipment so you have your equipment slot. So recently, we have uh, the championship event. I believe a lot of you guys have been starting grinding your equipment because this is the best timing to actually grind your equipment and probably your equipment slot is starting to get max because we only have a maximum of 6,000 um, equipment slot and then um, you have been thinking like, uh, how should you filter it out? What equipment should you sell? What kind of equipment should you keep? So this guide will be teaching you guys how should you filter everything else first and then go through the equipment set one by one. So vi this video is going to be very long. So, but I still encourage you guys don't skip the video. Watch the whole video, understand it. How should you uh, manage your equipment? So in the future, you don't have the uh, worry about equipment managing. All right. So first thing based on your you have to base on your own equip, um, account progression and decide if you want to follow this guide because um, this guy here is more towards end game everything i'm going to teach you later is more is more um, based on the opinion of, of the end game so it might not help your account if you're just like a new player or a mid game player because um, there's a lot of things you might want to keep at the moment because your equipment is not enough but you today is just mo uh, mainly focused on the end game part Okay, so first thing here, the championship, the, the next event we are going to have is the Equipment Plus. It's the one that you enhance your equipment to get point. So there's two parts of the guide here. Maybe you see which one you want to follow. So if you want to get uh, the most score out of the Championship Plus event, you might want to enhance it one by one or bot enhance um, them plus three before you sell it. So for example, if the war set here, then I'm going to just um, take my enhance level like this and then I only want to go to plus 3 which means I only have 3 attribute not until 4 which means everything here can be actually enhanced further right so if you want to get the most score you should actually select all which means you select everything every single piece here but just and take all the plus 15 one and then you box enhance to 3 then you everything enhance to 3, then you filter out, see which part you want. So let's say this one here, crit damage, attack bonus, crit rate, crit damage. And then you see what is the last slot here, and then you only decide you want to keep it or not. But today, this guide here is not going to go through all these small details thing. This guide today is more mainly focused on how should you filter out every single thing, right? So if you want to, you want to get more point, this is not the guide for you because I'll teach you how to filter out everything else not focusing on the championship plus event score base right so first thing step one you have to sell all the low level um, equipment so let's say oh, i'm an end game player i'm not going to use all this equipment anymore so you just select every equipment level from here and this is all the equipment you have that is not um, i'm not going to use this current quality right but if you're a new player or mid game player don't do this step here because you need every single equipment you have all right, so I have to repeat this. I don't want to mess up your equipment um, back after this guy, right? So I'm going to select all here and then I'm just going to bulk sell it because I'm not going to use all this uh, level of equipment. This is step one. Then for step two, sell all the two subs equipment. So you take zero, one, and two. All right, so every single two piece here, you are not going to use it as well because is not worth because you have to upgrade two random thing and then you have to only able to upgrade two um, sub stats to have a better upgrade version so you just select everything here and then you're gonna bulk sell but make sure you go through something so let's say this plus 15 one is when i start the game this one uh, have been accompanying me since the game and the stats is good that's why i locked it right so make sure you have to lock it and then so let's say you go through the rest here okay everything here is un enhanced and i'm pretty sure i'm not going to use them then you box out them okay then step three you take speed set uh win set all right then you go to uh, secondary attribute click four because four is flawless equipment and then you come to attribute filter tick the speed set because this is the only way to get a penta speed equipment and you don't want to sell them so tick on them lock it you don't want to accidentally sell follows win set with a speed sub step inside right you want to gamble to try if you can get a penta from it so make sure you locked it and then the next step will be you come to 
you take all the two set such as brawler shield set hold fast calamity uh no 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 um light set enchanted Eminus, Aegis, Recurve, Avatara, Stoneview, Fairy, and Frost um, Growth set. Also, all this is a two set here, and you have to make sure this is a win stat, uh, win set tick, sorry, win sub stat stick, and that is a flawless because everything here could be possible for you to getting a Penta. Like this one here, the Growth set, it could be a Penta speed, so locked it. Everything here just locked it, and then you enhance later, so you. At least you make sure you won't accidentally sell it away because it might be actually a penta speed and if you are a player who enjoy speed team in point war you really need the every single um penta speed okay so you only lock for the goggles one so for the boots one the attack bonus here maybe you don't want to lock it but this one is up to you but i pref I, I pretty love it because it has speed and crit rate i can gamble for it maybe they won't go into resist and defend bonus so i'll still keep it Okay, then this one later will sell, right? So just make sure you have to lock every single goggles that is uh, that having a speed substance. All right. Then after you repeat everything else here, everything you locked out, uh, lock the goggles, then you reset it. So you come here, you click reset, come to the basic filter, click all, scroll down, click all. So you reset everything to the default stage. Okay, so for the next step here, we're going to filter up all the two subs raw stats. So what is raw stats? Raw stats, in my opinion, is like attack, defend, HP, all this doesn't have the bonus percentage one, I'll call it as raw set. So come, uh, you make sure everything here is tick as all, and then you come to attribute filter, you tick attack and defend first, and make sure you untick the speed, crit damage, and crit rate okay so cause you 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 want to sell away the attack defense um set but you don't want them to have speed crit damage and crit rate exist in the set so for example this got uh, this headphone here you can see this is a very bad equipment set here because there's nothing worth here right but you but sometimes there's a speed or maybe crit rate or crit damage inside it might be actually very good so you want to avoid to selling these three attributes that's why you have to untick them and you just ticked it i'll put the combination beside that and you can see uh, number one is attack two is defend three is hp fourth is accuracy fifth is resist and there's a 10 combination with it so let's say one two three which is attack hit defend and hp so this one here, let's say this one is flawless, and you can see there's three raw set here, which is so bad. So and make sure you just sell them, unless it's, um let's okay never mind, you just want to sell them. Okay, then this is one two three. Then one two four is you take and take the HP, go to accuracy, and this is the set you want to sell them. Okay, then you repeat. Then after this is one um one two four, then you go to one two five you sell them because you can like you can check it's not good just by looking at it you won't even it's not even worth to actually go to enhance right so let, let's say why i lock this one maybe i want to reset it but it's actually a mistake here so you can see it's not that good at all right it's not worth at all so you just make sure you take it and sell it and so let's say the next example one three four so one three four this is what you want to sell and if you are something enhanced double check why did you enhance it earlier so i can see i have this accuracy plus three then this one is attack plus two it doesn't um not good at all then i'm gonna sell it then someone is using one then i'm not gonna carry it maybe i have some users for it then the rest here okay maybe why i locked it no this is useless yeah i can see all so you just make sure you follow the number beside it there's 10 combination make sure you filter everything else here then after filtering um, everything else here maybe you still want to go deeper then maybe you can sell attack and defense one as well but most of the time there will be no more equipment set for you to sell okay then for the last step here go to your base uh, make sure you reset it first then go to your basic filter take the ring headphone boots and then go to the attribute filter you take attack defense and hp this is what you don't want at all because um, all these headphone and ring and boots you want them to have percentage you want them to be a percentage means that so all this stuff here so we can simply click it you're not going to enhance speed because it's not worth at all why you want a raw stats when you can actually get a percentage increase of bonus right so 
just tick them then just tick everything else double check if you have anything enhanced here before if there's something enhanced before double check is it something you you are using it or there's a usage for it if not then you can just box sell it 1 million go easy peasy okay then after all this thing here we are going into the deep version part so what is the deep version part so um this th this following guide here is gonna make make sure you didn't sell something else you're actually using at the moment so you have to go through everything else i'll go through every single equipment here like wall set what kind of wall set should you keep what kind of wall set should you sell for example but it might be uh different player have their different play style so it might be not um good for your case but it's gonna be good for my case all right so let's go through one by one the first one will be wall set go to attribute filter you want to sell away the defense and hp bonus because you, if the moment you are trying to use war set you want them to be attacked you want them to be attacked main stats so you don't want um, hp or um defense bonus in it but maybe as per like fushi uh, sorry as per like jinchu might need the hp or defense bonus when using war set as well so this one is really depends on you do you want it do you want to keep it but from what i'm seeing here i don't want at all because the reason i want to go wall set is definitely i want to go all out attack i don't want to have any hp bonus set in it so double check everything else do you uh, take it nicely so this is wall set and then defend hp um defend bonus and hp bonus select all box out okay so this one is the attack uh, for the wall set so it really depends if you don't agree with my part here don't follow it or else it might actually uh, mess up your whole equipment thing in your game then you might need to redo or regrind your equipment all right so beware really take care of everything else then the next one we'll be going through is P panacea set which is our healing set so panacea set what you want to do is you want to sell the crit damage make sure you go back to all first crit damage and attack percentage because the moment you want to go for heals the heal equipment here you are going with hp percentage or defense percentage they are the healer they don't need crit damage and they don't need attack bonus as well but make sure you untick the speed and hp bonus because the sometimes you might need the hp speed substats or the hp bonus substats so you untick both of them and then you can like go through is is this something else you want to uh, keep it so let's say crit damage maybe maybe one day you think it will, it will come handy let's say then you, maybe you want to lock it but if you don't think so just sell it right so you can see i keep some of the crit damage ring here just in case one day there's actually one asper is going to use this healing equipment but we've been going with crit damage but this is up to your case all right so if you agree with this part you can select everything else and then cl click the box sell then for the ocean wave and astro set make sure you take both of them so ocean wave and astro set the moment you're, you're gonna use astro set on ocean wave definitely you're gonna build with speed so make sure you don't delete the speed one here and maybe you're gonna use ocean wave on all those um dps as per as well so make sure you untick the crit rate and crit damage as well because you don't want to sell any ocean wave set and astro set that have the speed substats of this tree this tree is very important then the rest here you want to sell but make sure okay so let's say i have this plus 15 so let me double check is it one i want to sell or maybe one day this hp bonus might come handy so i won't un uh, unlock it but the rest you can see oh this is uh, not a good ocean wave there's not a good ocean ocean wave ring at all you don't want to enhance at all but for some player maybe this um, superior um, equipment here you maybe they will want to enhance plus three and take a look what is it there but for my case i'm not going to go that so select everything else and then you can just box sell oh why am i keeping this okay this is useless unlock it and sell it okay the next one here is thunder set you take the ring make sure it's the ring and then you sell every single ring that is a tag bonus because the moment you're trying to play uh thunder set you want crit damage on the ring you don't want attack bonus on the ring so you can just sell them and then you come back to the thunder uh, set here you press all because we want to see every single thunder set now and then you click all as well then you untick the speed crit damage 
and crit rate because in thunder set most of the case you you want crit rate you want crit damage one speed then you the rest here up to you so you can slightly go through see is it something you might want to go so like this one here most probably i won't even use it because um even though there's a lot of defense bonus and hp bonus but i need the crit rate i need all those stuff so you can slightly go through is it anything else here you actually want to um might maybe you want to lock it so let's say this one here the defense bonus it may come handy because it's a defense bonus headphone and there's a lot of defense bonus and hp bonus here so maybe i can lock this um for future usage then maybe this one here i might want to go um reset it to use the reset stone to actually reset it then maybe i can maintain it lock now but the rest here is that you, that you think that it's not worth to actually keep it then you can just sell it so like this one here maybe it can be worth then you locked it then the rest here you can just take it and sell because you want to keep the every single one that have crit rate and crit damage you can see there's actually a lot of set but most of them have crit rate and crit damage okay then the next one will be tyrant set recurve set enchanted set so these three set here you um you come here to the attribute filter you're gonna untick the speed accuracy attack bonus and crit damage so why this four stats because the moment you want to use um stun set you want to use accuracy set you want speed right and then you want accuracy right because you want accuracy to stun you want accuracy set because you want accuracy then maybe you will you will need them you, will, you need the stun set or the accuracy set to do dps so you untick the attack bonus and crit damage then the rest here you can actually sell okay so let's say if i untick this one that's i have actually a lot of set here but the most of them i keep they have the crit damage and crit rate that's why i don't sell them okay then the next one will be frost set so this one is really depends on you if you are building a bruised bruiser as uh, as per and maybe you don't want to follow this guide all right so the frost set here i'm going to take the crit damage and attack bonus means that you want to sell those so you take the attack bonus and crit damage here because when you're going frost set most of the time you want to be tanky you want the asper to be actually very tanky so you don't want any attack bonus and crit damage but this crit damage might depends on you because the crit damage for some player they actually want the frost set on them but also a dps as well as well like uh let's say this ring set here i have it a crit damage with a, like a dps bruiser but with a frost set here so i i will still want to keep this but this this is really depends on you if you want to keep any crit damage ring or not but attack bonus is definitely a sell then after selling all this you can come back here and then you untick the hp defense bonus speed and crit rate these are the frost set you're not going to use because without hp defense bonus here why what is the worth of this frost set it's nothing worth at all you can see nothing good at all right so then you can just sell this one without any hesitation and why should we keep the crit rate like i said maybe you want to you want to um play the crit damage ring one then you're going to need a crit rate stats on the frost set okay then the next one here will be aegis set so aegis set here you come to attribute here you untick the hp bonus speed and crit damage everything else here you can actually sell it because the moment you want to play um, this um, Aegis bo shield bonus here, you want speed, you want HP bonus, this is guaranteed. But you want to untick the crit damage as well because um, as per like Ethan, he doesn't need crit rate, right? And then he can be used in Aegis set as well. So we might want to actually keep some of the Aegis crit damage as well. So you can slightly go through, you can see actually most of them is not the stats you really want. So you just um, select everything else and make sure, oh, so I have something locked up or is a speed means boot i'm keeping for maybe there's some usage here so i didn't sell it so then the rest here you can actually sell okay then the next one here will be the what's that called shoe set so shoe set here really depends on you i'll encourage you don't touch the andra set here because we andra set have a lot of potential but if you really want to sell you can untick the hp bonus untick the speed and defend bonus because uh the moment you want to go shield set you want it to be very tanky right but i will want to actually untick the crit that crit rate and crit damage as well 
I will keep these two as well. So cause such as Esper like Jin Yu, um, Jiang Jiu Li is gonna need the shield set that have crit rate as well. So you can then you can see the rest of the equipment here. The Aaron aren't that good as well. Maybe I'll keep this one. That's two attack bonus. Then the rest here I will sell. But it depends on you. If you don't think that you're gonna need a crit rate or crit damage um, shield set in the future, then maybe you can just sell them as well. But I see the potential of being shield set in a DPS expert as well. Like you, you can be a DPS expert, but with some tanky stats because the shield set is gonna um, help you block damage as well. So the, this one is really depends on you. But I will suggest don't really touch too much on the Andra set because Andra set is very high potential and future proof as well. Then the last one is whole fast set. The whole fast set, a uh, whole fast set here. You're gonna untake speed, resist, HP, and defense. Because anything else here in the whole fast set, you want speed, you want resist because you need resistance to uh, increase your base defense of your whole team. Then most of the time you are going for high high resist already. You are not gonna build them DPS. You are mainly building them like uh, in Sonica, like Phantom Sister or like. Jin Yu Yao, they are actually going with full out tankiness and speedy. So you want to save every single speed set and resist here. Then HP defend defend uh, depends on you, but because you are going to make hit them tanky anyway, so you might want to keep these two as well. And whole fast set, you are not going to build them DPS, then the rest you can actually sell. So let's say this one I have plus 15, I'm going to double check what is this. Oh, that's crit rate, crit damage here. Maybe in the future we're gonna use it, but for now, since I already pl plus 15 it, I'm not gonna sell. Then the rest here, I'm just gonna sell. You can like slightly go through, double check is there anything else you might want to keep it for future proof. Um, that's up to you, right? Maybe one day you're gonna need, maybe there's one day that's gonna be an expert who, who rely on resist to do DPS, who knows that. But for now, you can actually just. Uh, select all and sell them but this one is really based on you i won't really touch the andra set that much because like relief set harmony set calamity set brawler set you will see i didn't really go through them because they are really future proof they can be tankiness they and dps as well all right so that's all for the video today here so i hope this guide here can actually help you guys reduce your um, in equipment slot here to reduce it down and it really depends on you what do what do you want to keep and what do you want to sell but this is just a guideline for you to actually know what you want to keep in the future so every time after you're grinding some of the ritual miracle here you can instantly just filter it out by yourself so you don't have to go through this every single time and make sure you have a habit of locking your um, gear so you can see most of my equipment here they are actually locked up uh, they are actually locked and some of them are not locked is because they are the new equipment that i didn't lock now right but this is really depends on you then hope this video actually help you guys out and if it if you find it useful please hit the like button it really help the videos uh, and share it out to the other player as well so hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video bye bye Special thanks for the direct support on the YouTube membership. So for the benefactor of art here, which is Gen MP, Rosas15, and Molkert Rajali, thank you so much for the support. And a special thanks to the highest tips giver in our live stream, which is Marilyn Williams. Thank you for the support. I'm so grateful. And for the supporter and patron of art here, which is Louis Schneider, Agni, Jemai, Code Wilderness, Rimu, Chani, Ziggy, Wang Tamer, Kamaruki, Sunwaltz, Recketers and Cult Worshipper, thank you so much for the support and special thanks to Louis Schneider and Agni for the 3 month streak of support and Jen Mai for the 1 month streak of support. So hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.